Oh, we're going outside. That must mean something's happening. We're outside and all the lights are on and the car is all jacked up, literally. That must mean something's happening. We're walking right under the front of the car. There's parts that must mean something's happening. Hey, how are you? <laughs> all right, he's not as bright as he looks. Uh, today we've been working on this hey. thing a lot. Hey. Um, hey. The jack's working really well. We don't have a way to get jack stands under there, so we're trusting it way too much. Andrew, you're gonna shudder. That's what we're using. Hey, I don't condone right this, Andrew. Well, I, I do. Him. I don't worry about jacks failing. Boom! But apparently they do sometimes. So there's my wheel, which looks huge when it's off the car. And right now, we're cutting the twine out of here and uh, installing the piece that actually mounts the DSC compressor. And look at all of the crap in here from winter drag. Check it out. I noticed up in here, it's like a little mound of it. Yeah. Yeah, when I wash this car next, and when I get a hose up in here and we just go at it, there's gonna be like five cups worth of sand and salt, and it's not sand, it's salt. Look at that. Look at that M caliper covered in salt. That's why, this is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> Except we do, but they're just dirty right now. So anyways, that's the bracket that broke. Those two little studs coming off of it there on the left-hand side are what uh, had broken off previously. So that's my $77 piece. We're gonna bolt that in. Um, then the horns are gonna be reinstalled and then they won't be hanging by twine, which is here. I installed this twine in the late summer, probably like August, September, and we finally cut it out today with an X-Acto knife. So let's see, exactly what broke on this piece is, where's the broken piece? On the side or the- Right there. Yeah, come on. Yep. This is why we can't have nice things. Um, let's see, we did some other things on this card today. I, I don't really want to touch my door handle with, let's see. Oh, it's heavy. It's really heavy with only one finger. Holy crap, oh, I'm going uphill too. Okay, let's not hit into that. We have a brand new M5 door sill. Look at that thing, it is beautiful. We have a new strip clip as well, or strip. This piece right here is all new. I am so excited about that. Who cares about these little things where you're getting your hands all dirty? This is what's important. But that's not what people notice. It's a balance. It's a balance of mechanical and cosmetic things. I focus a little bit more cosmetically because I'm lucky enough to have already sorted out a lot of my mechanical issues. Also, speaking of cosmetics, <gasps> look at that! Oh, isn't it pretty? It's beautiful. It's beautiful and it's brand new from ECS Tuning and I love it and keep an eye on E39 source and it's thick and it's sporty and oh, it's got some salt on it. There we go, nice and clean and it's beautiful. I like that kind. All right, we're gonna go back to work now. You what? I'm not listening. Yeah, it's really thick. I noticed that over the steering wheel, it's really thick. <laughs> And it's nice and stuff. Now, now what do you want? Sound, yeah, it's metal. It's gonna make noise when you dick with it. Come on, that thing's still out. Put it in there. <laughs> Stop recording! Stop, um, I got a minute and 44 seconds and we're still gone. Stop. Okay. All right, like eight seconds later, right? We're working on the last bolt, putting the new bracket in. How's it coming? It's not going in. It's not going in, why not? They got the wrong hole. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can't, we're, it's hard to figure out once it's on there because we, we can't really feel it. And there's a little bit of play, so we're kind of just feeling around. All right guys, we actually did something and we did it right. Look at that, low horn, low tone horns on the bottom, the high tone horn is on the top or vice versa. I don't know which is which, but they're on there. This is the low tone. This Lows is the high on the top, tone. highs on the bottom. They're faced the right way. They both work independently and together. All the bolts are back in. That's, that's a dealer quality job right there. So now we're gonna take our fender liner, put that back on, put her back on the ground. Well, we're gonna put a wheel on it first and then we're gonna be done. All right, good morning, 12.52. Colt left a little bit ago. Car's done, all buttoned up, we cleaned that up. It's been a really productive day for that. Facelifted the steering wheel, something I really didn't think I was gonna do, but uh, oh, it's nice. I really, really like the way it looks and feels. And it just feels a lot sportier. It's like going from a non-sport package, 528, 530, 
to the standard M5, it's that difference again from the pre to post facelift M5 wheels. So that's that's really nice. Um, the door sill that needed to be done. I, the biggest thing right now is going to be that passenger mirror glass. So that'll get done before spring, anyways. It's negative something degrees outside. Tuesday's going to be a killer. The highs negative one, the lows negative 14. I got a call. I don't know who that is, but I'm going to get to bed and uh, it's going to be it. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow on Saturday night.